Well, this video clip demonstrates how the electric current is induced due to change in the magnetic field, which ultimately is due to the change in the electric field uh, due to breaking the circuit. So, as the setup indicates here, we have a bank of cells called battery, uh, three of them in total, and then the primary side of the coil is connected to the positive end of the battery and then here the black wire shows the negative end and the secondary coil is connected to the multimeter I have selected the microammeter portion but I have set the setting on the microammeter uh, part of the multimeter as you can see the coils are insulated so they are not in direct touch or direct contact with the washer that serves as a magnetic circuit. Remember, it does not conduct current, it conducts magnetic field or magnetic flux. And the white coil here is also wound on that uh, piece of iron washer that I got from a hardware store. Uh, and, and neither of the coils are in direct contact with each other. So now what I will do is, I will break the circuit randomly or in a way periodically and, and you will see the numbers changing uh, in the multimeter. So due to breaking of the electric field, magnetic field is broken which in turn induces the current in the secondary coil. So with that said, that proves uh, or that actually illustrates how a transformer works. Of course, that is much more complicated than that, uh, and that's the, those are called quote unquote engineering details by physicists. So as you can see, there's engineering challenge as always to making any physical concept practically viable or commercially possible. So now we'll go on to another making another video clip or I'll go on to making uh, making another video clip about electromagnetism so I'll kind of gen I'll make an electromagnet and show how that works